Hi there, I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com talking about circumference of a circle given a specific diameter. Now notice the question asks for the exact circumference. That's a little tricky because you're going, okay, so what do you mean exact? What's wrong with just saying find the circumference? I have flies around here. This is making me crazy. The exact circumference we'll get to. We can anticipate it though. With a diameter of 35 feet, well, that's a big circle. So diameter is from one edge to another. So through the middle, from one edge to another. This is the diameter, 35 feet. The thing is, though, that a lot of times we work in radiuses. So let's look at what formula we need, and then we can determine are we going to need the radius, which is half that, or the diameter, which is all the way across. Our circumference formula is equal to pi times d or 2 pi r. Well, guess what? We have d, so let's use this one. Why bother with the other one? So the circumference is pi times the diameter, which is 35 feet. Well, what are we going to use for pi? Anything we use for pi is going to be an approximation. And guess where this approximation comes in? That word exact. It doesn't want an approximation, which means what we have is pi times 35 feet is what the exact circumference is, as opposed to some approximation with some real decimals. We like to write the 35 first, 35 pi and then feet, and that's the circumference exactly. So again, it doesn't feel good. It makes no sense because you can't actually truly measure with that, but that's the exact circumference. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com, fighting the flies and reminding you the math is not a four-letter word.